Alright, what's going on guys? This is my custom AK-47 paint job that I did and today we're going to be taking a look at how I did it. So I decided to start this off with the base coat stage. As you guys can see, I'm layering on the white base coat as I'd already primed in grey primer the parts prior to recording this video. So I decided to start off with the white base coat as I figured you guys probably won't want to see the entire spraying process as it is quite a long process. So flipping over all the parts now, each component had three coats of grey primer, three coats of white base coat which I'm applying now and three coats of clear lacquer at the end to finish it all off. So for the next stage I wanted to add a grey speckle effect on top of the white pearl and I got this idea from both the camos that I'm going for here which is the battle camo off Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and the cami camo off CSGO. What I'm really trying to achieve here is a base idea from both of those camos combined because I, I like both of them but adding my own spin on it which you guys will see when we get to the Chinese lettering. So the grey speckle is kind of a, a take from either either or whichever one you guys think it looks more like. It just gave me the idea to do it from both camos. I, I believe they both have like a black or grey kind of effect that's similar to this. And the way I achieved it was by getting an old speaker cover which you guys can see on screen right now. Uh, I actually had two of these lying around but you can use anything that has multiple hol holes in it. Those non-slip pads you can get for inside your cars, you can also use things like those. These black rings I'm spraying right now are just pieces off the old stock that was on the gun that I needed to spray up because I cut them and apply back to the gun. Okay, so onto the lettering. We got Legacy, Holzo, Luke and Zulu. These are all letters and words that mean something to me. You guys know I'm the leader and owner of Legacy Airsoft, which is my Airsoft team. The leader and owner of Team Zulu, which is my online gaming team. Luke is my name and Holzo is my online name. So these are all like personal names that mean something to me. I thought they would be quite cool to put onto my weapon because obviously it's a gun, I play CS, I play Call of Duty, these camos are all related and I didn't want there to just be random Chinese letters on there like they obviously are in the game. So all I did for this process was I went on the internet, got up a English to Chinese translator and when the appropriate letters come up on screen I got a large piece of paper, held it over my monitor and just traced around the letters with a pencil which is that piece of paper you can see on screen I'm using black vinyl tape which is actually automotive and outdoor graded so it will take weather and I'm just literally cutting strips out in the size and shapes that I need to build these shapes and make my own decals and applying them to the components of the gun.
I decided to use my heat gun to make sure the stickers really lock on to the shape of the gun because some of the places I was applying the stickers were awkward shapes and the stickers weren't sticking that well but by using the heat gun it ensured that they stretched into the position they needed to to stay stuck to the weapon. Right now I'm creating the word Luke, which is my name, on the top of the foregrip. Here you can see all the components I wanted to have decals on with them on. I didn't want to put any on any of the pieces that my hands would be touching all the time. For example, the hand grip, the bottom half of the foregrip just things that I'd be constantly holding because I didn't want there to be any chance of them rubbing off. What you guys can see now is me applying lacquer. It's a clear lacquer top coat that is also automotive rated so it will take weather. I decided to apply this last on top of the stickers because it will help to keep the decals on the gun. And to finish it all off obviously put the gun back together and the project is finished. So I just wanted to add a couple of things. As you guys probably know, AKs don't come standard with M4 stocks. I added this myself. I just got the M4 tube and stock and screwed it on right here. I made the holes before I painted the gun and then I just screwed it on afterwards. These are what were originally the stock. So basically, these rings you see right here, these were attached to those rings and the stock basically folded around on the gun like so and then unfolded with a back piece on it that fit into your shoulder but that got broken by the previous owner of this gun and so I decided to cut them off and reassemble these rings I sprayed them black as you would have seen previously and I decided to reassemble those onto the gun to not leave a hole there and to be honest I think it's turned out not too shabby And just to recap, this logo right here says Holzo. This one says Luke. That one says Zulu. And that one says Legacy. I hope you guys all enjoyed the video anyway. As always, drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you're new here. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out, people.